Yesterday, I took a flight to the UK and it ended up being the most eye-opening experience of my life. So we took a flight at 10 p.m. and we were supposed to land at exactly 11 p.m. We were up in the air, we're doing well, you know, alhamdulillah, the takeoff was very smooth and you know, midway through the flight, I'm just watching my TV show and I look out the window and I'm like, hmm, that's really weird because I cannot see anything. Like the fog or whatever it was, was so thick. I just returned back to my headphones and just, you know, immerse myself in the Netflix show I was watching. Then I heard an announcement that we would be descending. So I decided, you know what, let me take my headphones off and really focus. And we were descending for no joke, an hour and a half. And we, and I was looking at the time, I was like, hmm, it is now an hour later than when we were supposed to land. I'm looking outside and it's, wait, my cat is eating my food. <laughs> so it's now an hour later than when I was supposed to land. And I look out the window and voila, when I tell you, there was just like this gray black gloominess. I could not see the ground. I couldn't see anything for that matter. Everyone was getting a bit weirded out, like a bit like kind of nervous. And in my head, I just started to recite every single surah I've ever learned or even tried to learn. Like there were some surahs that I was literally like, Ugh, really pushing myself, but I couldn't remember like some parts of it, but I was just saying it and reciting it anyway. I was just saying the shahada over and over again. Like it was just instinctual. Was like, oh, I just started reciting all the Islamic knowledge I knew. Um, and I felt like in that moment, I just felt the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I really, really felt it in my heart. I was like, okay, it's going to be okay. Anyway, so long story, alhamdulillah, we did land. But then we were like, it's too late to get a train. So we were like, how are we going to get home? The taxis were like 150 pounds because the airport was packed and everyone wanted a taxi, obviously. There was this one guy and he said, look, I'll give it to you for 80 pounds. And we were like what like that's crazy guess what his name was Mohammed mashallah Mohammed I wish I could have thanked him even more I was so tired but yeah sometimes like I just got home I was like why did it take me feeling like this was the end to recite all my surahs I should be reciting them every day well I should be but I'm not and so like if this is a message to you it's that don't wait until those moments where you're terrified to be like, I need to be on Dean right now and I need to recite all the surahs I know. Like, we should be doing it every day as Muslims. 